Hello, and welcome to episode 49 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on me getting level 9 and showing you something very interesting to do with your progress in Force of Nature. But first of all, let's achieve level 9 because I want to have a look at all the lovely new items we're going to be able to make not to mention the extra structures that I will now then be able to build. So, if we go to my characteristics, well, first of all, let's show you. If we go to um, the quests, you'll see that I need to get the new level. That's the latest quest. So, the latest level, of course, will be getting level 9. To do that, if I click next level, I need 15 onyx chips, which I have now got through hunting um, to the far northwest of my base. As you've been seeing in the last episode with getting onyx chips, I was just continuing to do that, and I got them eventually, as all of you will. So I need 10 honey. So let's grab some honey. Actually, what's the apiaries got for me? Oh, two in there. Two in there and six on the ground there. Okay, so characteristics, next level, get level, and there we go. Cool, eh? Level nine. So, we've got new quests again, and access now to new items. More than that though, you see my health went up, and my stamina, which will help me progress. Um, because things, you've got to remember with Force of Nature, okay? This is clearly not a game where you're just hack and slash and smash and to crash your way through to progress. You, this game actually makes you think hard about different tactics for your progress. As in, with the hot climate, we had to wear the Bedouin armour. The cold climate, we had to wear the fur armour. So you can see it's throwing different obstacles at you that you can easily achieve, but you have to work out how to do that. And that's where my series comes in. Yes, I start off by being silly and maybe slow progress, but I do make that progress and I do hope to show you how to achieve your way all the way up as far as we can go in Force of Nature as it currently stands. Of course, it's still being, lots is still being added to the game. And I can't wait to see what else gets added, because I do love playing Force of Nature. Anyway, let's have a look then at the new items. So, I know some of you have been saying, why am I growing sunflowers? I do not have the option yet to grow sunflowers. The only plants I can grow are the ones that I have been growing, as in the salvia, the components to make herbal tea, wheat, apples, no, not apples, wheat, strawberries and um, all the things you've seen I've been planting. I haven't had access yet to um, sunflower seeds, but maybe I will now. So we can see now I can make gems. Uh, so I can get them through killing and I can get them through crafting. I don't know what the gems are for yet. We'll find out, probably the improved amulets. Now I can grow seps, that's very cool. Um, because I get 10 health, that's one of my main ways to push forwards in some of the harder zones, just keep chewing on these. So that's really cool. Diamond disassembled green chest, I have no idea. Ah, so that goes, uh, you place it by doing that, and I guess it's going to give us a chest. Anyway, so we'll get to that. I'll have an episode on that. So, fly agaric. I don't know. I've not used that yet. Why would I on earth? So, it must be for something to in alchemy when we get to that. Okay, I can make a hammer. So, that's cool. That's another 30% time off of manufacturing. Iron arrows. Oh, here we go. Iron armor. This, I imagine, is for the tougher creatures, uh, which we're going to get to. And... Trust me when I tell you there are some lovely weapons now and the one that I'm going to be using is that one. You're going to see why 
but that's another episode and a good one. Uh, we can make an iron pan now for cooking, which hopefully is going to speed it up by 30%. That's cool. Oh, we got to meat pies. I've been gathering meat. Uh, 110 health, so currently I'm eating my apple pies. So 30 more health. Hmm, debatable whether I shall be doing that, but I shall make some to show you. Uh, metal mortar, which is good. That's going to speed up my crafting. Uh, let's have a look. Protective Bedouin hat. Bedouin hat. Ah, so the Bedouin armor is now going to give me armor additionally. Very cool. So I can make a whole new set of that. Russells are also cool. Wow, look at this. There is some really nice items now that have unlocked to me. And I'm going to be showing all of this in further episodes. So I'll get to all of that stuff. Right, let's close that. Let's have a look at what quests now we've got. So I've got to make a magic chest, which must be that chest that I just showed you. Um, so maybe that can be the next episode. Uh, make a plant pot. That's a bit strange. Uh, I've been making seed beds. Plant pot. All oh, right, okay, well that must be a new item opened up to me. Uh, get one more piece of fortune, force of nature so there we go that's the next piece that we've got a head for and we can get another level let's have a look at the buildings to see what's unlocked for me that I can make now additional to the ones I've already got now I've not been doing any of these yet I should however be duplicating all of these which I will I'll get around to it I'm just not bothering with the hut of branches or the um, dugout I'm not really interested in them and I'm not really interested because by not um, building by not using chests on the ground I don't have to store my stuff in them so I don't have to worry about this hut branches or dugout um, I will perhaps get around to the barrel because someone did comment that the barrels are good so I will try them um, but let's have a look so I can do another crafting table which I must do so I do use that quite a bit uh, I can now do another tailoring table. I can now do another apiary. Oh, cool. I can now do another 4x4 four four seed bed. I can make a proper bed now. So let's have a look. So, restores health and stamina up to 100%. Um, where's the difference between that bed and the straw bed? Restores health and stamina up to 70%. So you can see the new bed that I can build takes me all the way to 100% uh, stamina and health. But it will regenerate, re um, spawn all of the creatures. So be wary of that. <clears throat> Another chest. Hmm, maybe this one would be a good chest. 20 cells in it. Hmm, maybe I'll make that then. Maybe I'll try that chest. Oh, here we go, there's the plant pot, and here's the magic chest. What's this going to do for us? Can only store five items. Now, I'm guessing there must be a very good reason to making this chest. Uh, well, the most obvious being just to do the quest, so I can progress to the next level. We'll find out, I guess, when I make that, what it's good purposes. A plant pot, very interesting. So maybe this is what I have to grow them new plants in. Let's have a quick look shall we? If we go to my uh, fields, let's just pick one week and oh, I need to do it from one of these. Okay, let's see, what can we plant? So there's the stuff that I can told you I can plant. Wheat, strawberries, coffee branch, violet, hydrangea, rosemary, lettuce, salvia, and the roses, and that's it. So you can see there's no sunflowers. So maybe then it's the plant pot where I'll get access, but I'm imagining it's where the seps and all of that other new stuff can be grown. We'll see when I get to that. Let's cancel that and go back to where I was. Where was I now? God, I've forgotten. I 
I've totally thrown myself off. What was I looking at? Right, I tell you what. Let's go show you this thing that I found out. Um, which will help at least two of you I know of have mentioned something in regards to this. One of you has said that you can't get north because it's too cold. And one of you have mentioned that... Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to... One of you have mentioned that you don't see how you can progress because it's got too difficult. And I'm not mentioning your name because I don't want you to feel, um, you know, in any way, shape or form um, harassed by this. So let's just show you what I found out. Now, if I show you the map, okay, you will remember that I went to the west of my base and then started going north. Now that was pure luck. Okay, that was just pure luck. Just the way that I was hunting just took me in this direction. But it did make me find out something very, very interesting. And that is, I got all the way here north just wearing my fur armour. And so I was able to get shard free. But I thought, let's try and head north from my base. So there's my base. And so I went to Mars. And I do want to take a trip there someday, just not the teleport. Uh, then I progressed north. And let's show you what happened when I got to this north. So the next teleport after that Mars. Watch my health. Okay, so the valuable lesson I learnt here is that you with different shards you have to take different routes to get to them to the person who said they couldn't make it north because it was too cold that's simply because you need to go to the west and then north uh, for the person that said that they're finding it hard to progress now because of the level of the creatures then what i suggest to you is there is a different route to getting to that shard that you're trying to get to um, which is proved by this. This way I would not have been able to make it north, even with all my fur armour. But by going west and north, I was then able to make it all the way to the north. So, what you have to do, lesson to be learned here, is look for a different path. So I better go back, because I don't want to die. Yes, we was looking at the build menu, that's where I was. So if we go back to the constructions, let's just have a look. So I can build another tailor table, another apiary, another seed bed. I can do a proper bed to sleep in. I can make a mag magic chest to complete that quest. And I can take a look at the plant pot. Oh, and here we go. Alchemy is about to open up to us on the next level. So that's looking very cool. Okay, so the time has not gone. Let's quickly look at decorations. I've totally ignored that really up to now, except for the fences and the gate. But if we have a look, you see it progresses on to painting your floors, spraying your poor floors different colours. Like you can have you can have sawdust effect or clay. Whether you can actually then dig from that, I don't know. I'll have to try that. Uh, up here is all the different types of fences. I'm not getting any goblin problems, so I have no need to build palisades or fences. But you see now it's going on to different gravels that now we can place. And borders. So that's the decorations. Okay, let's, with the time we've got left in this episode, let's do some more hunting. And where I'm going to go... I'm not going to go that way north because uh, it's getting far too cold and I won't make it very far. So I'm trying to come across now to see what we encounter going in this direction. So I think that'll be interesting to show you what I'm encountering. So we're going to travel to Vega and then head towards this next shard. But I'm going to try and head to the east and then I want to try and get between my base and that shard. So the base will be the uh, next portal I'm hoping to put about there, which is a long way north 
of my other teleport. Maybe I can make it south and do another pull to win between them. Oh, well anyway, there you go, I'm out. I've run out of time. So what we'll do in the next episode is I'm either going to start making some of this new stuff so we can take a look at it, or I will focus on us adventuring, like I say, to try and build another portal to the east of Vega. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.